From Australia to Norway, Japan to the U.S., thousands of people have reported seeing unidentified flying objects. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, and produced pictures they're convinced can prove it. Several hundred of the believers assembled a few blocks from the White House to present their findings, including a former Canadian defense minister. I say without equivocation, we are not alone in the cosmos. We have neighbors. We should try to get to understand them. And phoning in his testimony, one of the American astronauts who landed on the moon. There's a number of us that have had these types of experiences to say, yes, we're not alone. We have been visited. Though their employers have allegedly told them to keep quiet, the event's organizer says airline pilots have reported more than 3,500 sightings. Including silver discs maneuvering off the cockpit, off the wingtips, maneuvering around the airplane, seen by the pilot, the co-pilot, and passengers of the plane. Uh, and then traveling off at thousands of miles an hour. That's a lot of evidence right there. The U.S. Congress last held a hearing on UFOs almost half a century ago, so organizers of this gathering paid a few retired congressmen to participate in the mock hearing. You have to be very arrogant and presumptive to believe that this is the only place where life exists in a universe this large. Two years ago, the White House issued its only response ever to the ET reports. It said the U.S. government had no information of alien visitation to Earth, nor was there any credible evidence of a cover-up. The Pentagon has repeatedly denied the legendary story of a spacecraft that crashed in the New Mexico desert back in 1947 with an alien passenger. But the FBI has confirmed that in 1950, it passed on a report of three flying saucers recovered in New Mexico. It apparently never followed up on that report. Polls show nearly a quarter of Americans believe that Earth has been visited by extraterrestrial beings. UFO disclosure lobbyist Stephen Bassett says the U.S. ought to unveil its ET secrets before some other government does. There are significant geopolitical consequences for the United States if it is not the first nation to end this truth embargo, which essentially it began. Though the White House has dismissed a petition demanding a full UFO investigation, that won't stop a small but vocal few from maintaining that the truth is out there. Tom Ackerman, Al Jazeera, Washington.